Hello, Elizabeth Stinson, cul-de-sac woman. Today is a fairly peaceful and restful day on the cul-de-sac. We're picking up somebody from a birthday sleepover, and then later this evening, heading off to a youth service. And in between that, we're gonna head inside and cook up some fajita stromboli dippers. So come on in. Here we are, back in our kitchen. Now, when I was working with the local school district developing new menu items for school lunches, these dippers were a real hit with the students. Now in this bowl I have three medium to large red bell pepper strips along with London broil beef strips that my butcher cut up for me. I'm going to add a fourth bell pepper and I'm going to show you how I like to cut my bell peppers into strips. I cut it from top to bottom down the center I take these pieces, the, the top pieces out and just, you know, take out that excess white veins there, that they call them. And then I just slice and discarding the pieces with the big thick veins. And I just go right down the middle, top to bottom until I get about a fairly thick about a half inch slice. Okay, that's the last of our fourth red bell pepper, along with our one and a half pounds of London broil beef strips, all uncooked at this point. Now I'm going to add onion slices. I'm, I like to cut the onion from top to bottom in half so that I'm working on a flat surface. And I'm just gonna do thicker slices Again, about a half, quarter to a half inch slices of onion. And I'm just going to sprinkle them, kind of separating them into the, the mixture. And now, after we get all of that in there, we're going to toss in just enough Italian dressing to coat your peppers, onion, and steak, we'll call it. I'm guessing it's about a quarter of a cup. And we're going to add one tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning and one teaspoon of cumin, which I have pre-measured in this bowl. Sprinkle that in. Very flavorful, and we're gonna to toss this all together now. Okay, we have our fajita stromboli blend of one and a half pounds of London broil beef strips that my butcher cut up for me right on the spot. I did not have to pre-order it. Four medium red bell pepper cut into strip, and one yellow onion cut into strips. And we blended it with just enough Italian dressing to coat along with one tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning and one teaspoon of cumin. Now we're going to place them in a single layer on between two cookie sheets here, foil lined that I did previously spray with a cooking spray. And I want you to notice the healthy proportion of vegetables to meat here. There's plenty of meat, but we do have more vegetables than we do meat. And it's gonna be delicious and flavorful regardless. We're going to roast these in a hot 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're sizzling and hot. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more of the Montreal steak seasoning on the very tops just to make sure we got enough flavor on there. And we'll be back when these are roasted up and ready for filling. Okay, we did keep them in the oven at just about 10 to 12 minutes. And you can hear the nice sizzling fajita sound that you might be familiar with from restaurants. We're going to let these cool until they're, we can handle them. 
and we'll be back when we're ready to fill, wrap, and roll. Okay, our fajita steak and pepper blend is cool enough to work with now, and our counter is lined and ready to go with everything we need to fill our tortillas. I'll show you how to fill one and wrap it. First, we put down a half a slice of provolone cheese. You can use mozzarella if you'd like. Then we put down a little scoop or so of our pepper, steak, and onion blend. And as you can see, I'm using a multi-grain tortilla, of course. And then another slice, half slice of our provolone. And we're going to, and we've got it on the end of the tortilla, one end. We're going to tuck and get a nice tight first roll. And then we're going to fold in both of the ends. And then we're going to roll, keeping the seam on the bottom. And we will place it on a parchment lined baking sheet. Give a little press to seal. And we'll be back when we're done filling the rest of them. Okay, that was quick. We got 11 fajita stromboli dippers out of that. We did use, to let you know, a larger tortilla, about 10 to 12 inch tortilla. The smaller ones are too hard to roll up with a filling in them. So we got 11, but to make it an even 12, I made one with just cheese in it. So to prepare them for the oven, you can do one of two things. You can spray it with, I have an organic canola cooking spray here. Just an even coating over the top of each one. If you do not want to do that, you can use a little bit of canola oil that I have here in the bowl and just lightly coat each one, even coating with your fingertips. And that way you can feel that there's an even coating that you really can't feel with a pastry brush. Okay, both, both ways work. Don't worry if you get a little breakage in your tortillas. Sometimes that happens and there's just not a whole lot you can do about it. Just don't put them out on the counter until you're ready to roll. Otherwise they'll dry out on you. Now we're going to score each one twice. And then put a little sprinkling of dried oregano on top. And then we're going to Bake them up warm so they're warm and crispy in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Again, until they're crispy, being careful not to burn them on the bottom. So check them maybe as early as 10 minutes. Just kind of check the bottoms. But you do want them crispy. Okay, we're going to put these in the oven and we'll be back when they're nice and crispy. And while they're crisping up in the oven, I have some pizza sauce on the back burner warming. Okay, our fajita stromboli dippers did crisp up nicely in a 350 degree oven for about exactly 15 minutes. And we're doing our favorite oven to table here. Bill's helping us out, getting them onto the table. They look and smell delicious. And here's where the dipper part comes in. We serve them with a side of warmed pizza sauce. Now that you have our recipe for fajita stromboli dippers, we hope you enjoy them as much as we are about to enjoy them here. And we'll see you next time in the cul-de-sac.